Hi, this is Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Today's sequence is about a better sleep for ourselves, and I'm sure we can all use that right now. So come join me on the mat. We are going to stretch, breathe, and of course we'll add a few acupressure points that will hopefully put us at ease, make us feel more grounded, and hopefully the end result will be a deeper, better sleep. Okay, we're gonna start in the center of our mat with our feet hip width distance apart, parallel to each other. Soften your knees so we never wanna lock the knees and we're going to ground our feet into the mat. And we're just going to just start with gentle rolls of our shoulders, okay? So we're gonna do three more of these because I've already done two. So three, that was two. And one, that always feels so good, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna widen the stance now. Feet are parallel to each other. Again, soft knees, feet are nicely planted into the earth. We're gonna take the arms all the way up, breathing in, touch the fingers, and then breathe out. Release all of that stress. Inhale, arms up, and then exhale, exasperated. Breathe out. Again, breathing in, and now really let it go. <sighs> Perfect, okay, now inhale, arms all the way up, touch the fingertips and sway to the right side. Come on back up, breathing in, and then exhale, sway to the other side. <sighs> Very good, we're gonna come all the way back up. This time you're gonna take your left fingertips to the right ankle, toes or leg. Breathe out here. Inhale, come on back up. And we're going to go on the other side. Breathe out. Inhale, come on back up. Nice tight bellies. We come up, always breathing in as you raise your body up. And then exhale, come on down. Nice forward fold. Looking behind you. Breathing here. Letting your neck release. Letting the shoulders relax. Okay, now weight is in the heels, soft knees, tight belly, we're going to press up. So breathe in as you come up, inhale here, and then exhale, hands come down, roll the shoulders out, three, two, and one. So we're going to continue to do that sequence, so we're going to raise our arms up, fingertips touching, breathe in and breathe out, <sighs> swaying to the right side. Inhale, you're gonna open up the chest and exhale, sway to the opposite side. Inhale, come on back up. Now exhale, left hand's going down to the right leg, ankle or foot. So you're gonna look up to your top hand if you wish, or if your neck is hurting, you're looking down to the bottom foot. Okay, tight belly, come on back up. Inhale, exhale, other side. So this time we're taking our right hand to the left leg, either looking up to the left hand or down to the bottom hand. Again, soft knees, making yourself comfortable, breathing here. Okay, tight belly, come on up. Inhale, and then exhale, come on down. Breathe out. Making your neck relax. Breathing here, soft knees, tight belly. We're gonna come back up. Breathing in, touch those fingertips together, and then exhale, breathe out. Roll the shoulders three times. Breathe in and out, in and out. One more time, breathe in and out. Okay, do you think you have the sequence? We're gonna open up the arms. Breathing in, touch the fingertips. Exhale, right side first. Breathe out. Inhale, come on back up, chest open, breathe out, sway to the opposite side. <sighs> Inhale, back up, exhale, gentle twist. Inhale, come on back up, exhale, gentle twist. Inhale, back up to center, exhale, forward fold, breathe out. Now weight in the heels, tight belly, breathe in, come on all the way up. We start again, breathe out. 
Ah. Inhale back to center. And exhale, other side. Inhale back up. And exhale, twist. Inhale back up. Exhale, twist. Inhale back up. Exhale, breathe out. Forward fold. Looking behind you. Inhale, come on back up. Tight belly, support the spine. Touch those fingers. Let's go back down to the original side. Ooh, come on back up. And exhale. Breathing in, open up the chest. Breathe out, twist. Breathing in, up. Exhale, twist. Remember, making sure the neck is comfortable. Inhale, tight belly, open up the chest. Breathe out, melt forward. Inhale, tight belly, come on all the way up. Again, breathing out. So what we're doing here is we're connecting breath with movement. We're opening up the spine and our rib cage for more breath more oxygen. So we're going to support our heart and our lungs before we retire for bed. Breathing in, open up, and exhale, breathe out. Inhale, come on all the way up, last set. Touch those fingers, and then maybe a little bit more. Deeper stretch. Inhale, up, exhale. Breathe. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back up. And exhale, melting into that forward fold. Soften your neck here. Breathe. Tight belly, come on all the way up. Inhale and exhale. Let's take our hands to the heart. Well done. Take a breath in and out. Relax the arms and roll those shoulders out. Three times. One, two, and three. Now we're going to bend the knees and put most of the weight into that right knee. So now my left leg is straight, my right knee is bent, and most of my weight is in my backside here. Weight is in the heels of my feet. And of course, I have a nice soft micro bend in that left knee. So we're going to bend from side to side. Notice how that feels. So if you want to go deeper, go ahead. Do a deeper, Bend, and if you want to do something a little more shallow, you go shallow. So this is your practice, your yoga. And I now want you to imagine that we are going to start to harvest some seaweed here. And I always like to have this visualization of hands that are seaweed with resistance in water. And I want you to feel this beautiful flow of movement from side to side. So we're continuing in our breath here, and I want you to continue to put the weight into your heels and into your bum. So that not all of the weight is in our front of our knees, or our toes. And I want you to focus on breathing. So now we're gonna breathe. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. Now start to gather that seaweed and bring it closer to where your ankles are. And start to have maybe a circular motion. And from here, take it up to the knees, making sure the weight is in the heels. 
Now I'm going to start to slow it down <sighs> because this harvest of seaweed is so precious. It's the organic stuff. So now we're taking it in at our knee level. And because now it's getting so much bigger, we need to bring it in at the waist. Because we've harvested so much of this amazing, beautiful organic seaweed, we now need to share it. So I want you to start to push it away. Now we're pushing it away at our shoulder level. So not rather pushing, but giving it away, offering it. And so when we offer, we're going to open our hands. And because we're so proud of everything that we've done, we're now going to offer it to the world. So open up and expand those arms. Nice big arms. We're going to go two more. One, two, big fingers, big arms. Then expand. We did it. Expand the arms all the way up. Nice tight belly. Breathe in and breathe out. Release the hands. I'm going to roll those shoulders up. One, two. Ah, oh, this always feels so good. And three. Now, let's give those legs a break. We're going to bring the feet closer together and then just give them a little shake. Ooh, that feels good, doesn't it? Okay, now we're going to come down to our mat. So we're going to sit down onto the mat in a nice, comfortable position. And before we go down to our backs, we're going to work on those acupressure points that I mentioned before. So if you're wearing pants, I want you to roll up those pants just so that you're exposing about an inch on top of where your ankle is. You're going to feel this shin bone here. This is your tibia. And from here, you're just gonna go a little bit up from the ankle and just start to gently rub on the inside of the leg. This is the yin part of the body. And if you feel anything tender in this area, you may wanna press a little bit harder or maybe not. Some of my classmates and some of my supervisors and teachers, some of them believe that if you press a little harder, you may activate that pressure point. Um, and some people feel that gentle pressure is just perfect. So you do what's best for you, just like it is in yoga. So I'm gently pressing on the inside here, just a little bit above my ankles. Okay, and the most important point that I want you to focus on is right at the bottom of your foot. So the bottom of your foot, you have this really nice uh, ball of the foot and right in the middle at the end of the bottle of the ball of the foot before it becomes your sole of the foot where it's nice and soft just at the base of where the ball of the foot is I want you to press right into that point this is a really beautiful grounding point this is kidney one the source of our essence the beginning of our yin and our yang of our body this point is a beautiful grounding point. So I want you to gently press there. So I'm pressing in my posture, which is Baddha Konasana, cobbler's pose or bound angle pose. So I'm gonna gently get myself into this posture and I'm going to activate this kidney one point. Pressing with my thumbs, I'm gonna gently use this pressure where I'm moving my thumbs like this, and sometimes just tapping down onto my foot. Ah, and you're gonna find in some, one of the, between the feet, one's always grumpier than the other. So that grumpy one, maybe you wanna be nicer to the grumpy one, or maybe you just wanna be like, no, I'm gonna attack that grumpy one. So as I'm in this cobbler's pose, Baddha Konasana, I'm gonna press into this Kidney one point, and then take a deep breath here. Inhaling, exhaling, 
Inhaling, exhaling, and lastly, with the beautiful intention of a deeper, better sleep, inhaling and exhaling. Love that. You can release that hand, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna cross our legs or come into any comfortable position that feels good for you. Sometimes when we work on those points and we're tough on ourselves, we need to shake out and work those fingers too. So we're gonna just shake out the wrists. We're gonna clasp our hands together. We're gonna to roll them out. Does everybody remember this one? This is super fun. The roller coaster. Can you go both ways? And we're gonna reach all the way up. Reach, 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 reach. Breathe in and breathe out. Release, well done. We're gonna bring our knees together, come onto our backs, onto the floor. Very important when we do this, and this is a really wonderful uh, posture to do before, right before you go to sleep, if you have trouble falling asleep, is these lying down twists. So we're gonna come onto our backs. I want you to bring the left knee into the chest. Big, nice hug. You may wanna say something good to yourself here. Oh, I'm gonna have a good sleep. I love myself and it's gonna be a really good night. Okay, so big hug. And then gently take that knee over to the opposite side. You may wanna take your right hand onto that leg and then the left arm comes out and maybe your head gently turns to look at that left arm. And we're gonna to try to relax the belly, our face, and take three deep conscious breaths into our belly, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling, Exhaling, one more breath, inhale, and exhale. <sighs> okay, bring that knee back into the chest, left knee, and release it back down to the ground. We're gonna do the other side, so right knee into the chest, big hug, say something nice to yourself. I'm a good person, I'm a good friend, and then let's take that leg over to the left side, using your left hand now as gentle pressure onto that leg and gently take the right arm out, maybe looking over, but if the neck is hurting you, you can place it back in a comfortable position looking up. So studies have shown that this posture in itself helps you tap into that rest and digest system your parasympathetic nervous system. So try to do this before you go to bed and just take those three deep conscious breaths into the belly, inhaling, exhaling and releasing. <sighs> Two more breaths in and out. <sighs> One more breath in and out. Well done. Bring your knee back into the chest and lower the legs down. I want you to take the arms all the way up for a nice stretch. At the same time, you're gonna reach the toes and the balls of your feet forward as much as you can, lengthening the spine. Inhaling and then exhaling, releasing and relaxing the entire body, melting, opening up the body into Shavasana, where you can relax, melt into your mat, and allow the body to soak in and absorb the benefits of your practice. So you may stay in this posture. I'm going to gently come on up. And wish you a wonderful, peaceful, and better sleep. Namaste.